The recent banditry attacks in Marsabit and Samburu continue to create tensions over the safety of the residents residing in those areas. Was the recent trend being done to the bodies of the victims? The acts of gouging their eyes, slitting their throats and cutting their stomachs open. On behalf of the, the professional groups, Unscratched by this senior's acts, a section of leaders from the Rendile community have condemned the acts whilst calling for the redeployment of the National Police Reservists in the area. We know that uh, that happened in other sub-counties and we also demand the same uh, for the areas inhabited by the Rendile people. We speed up the community land registration process to dispense of land expansionist tendencies of the aggressors. Tuwa jilali wanakuja kulisha mifugo yao pamoja na watu wetu. Mwishowe wanauwa watu na wanashukua wanyama. Tumeshoka kama jamii na tunaongojea serikali wakati huu watatufanyia nini. Elsewhere, property worth of millions of shillings have been destroyed in a night in Fano that engulfed businesses, premises and residential houses at White House in Diani, Kuala County. The fire broke out at 2 a.m. brought down business premises that include bar saloon, furniture shop, chemist and retail shops. No injuries and casualties were reported. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cause of the fire was not immediately established and investigation into the incident is underway. Tukaita mazima moto, lakini unakuta kwamba ile mazima moto mekuja, ile maji hata mengi ni hale ya mwaika chini, bala ile ya kuwa likuwa na mazima moto. Kwa hivyo, yeah. ikawa sasa ni juhudi zetu zinanimbulia patupu. Wakati mwingine, disaster kama ina potukea, <coughs> uh, serikali weze kufika haraka. Kwa sababu ukiangalia loss ambao tumepata ni kubwa sana. Ya na tungeomba serikali ya county kama ingeza kutusaidia ili tuweze kurudi tena kwa miguu yetu. Kuna kitu nimepata, nimepata moto mewaka, kitu vote mechomeka. And finally, Mwingi Central MP Gideon Muliungi has called on the Independent Police Oversight Authority to quickly hasten investigation findings and charge a police officer who broke into a home in Kwanungu area, Megwani Ward, and shot dead a 26-year-old for allegedly stealing 10,000 Kenya shillings. It's alleged that the late Alex Musili was asleep when two police officers started yelling his name, ordering him out, where the letter showed him in the witness of his brother, Yohan Asami, who was handicapped. The parliamentarian says he has written to the Mwingi Central OCPD, requesting an immediate transfer and replacement of all the police officers serving at Mumbuni Police Station, hence instilling trust in the public on the performance of the police officers attached to this station. Melia Kisienya, K24 TV.